This is going to be um, the Raleigh Historic District Commission meeting. We'll start now at uh, 7.30. And we are going to, on the agenda, we are going to have a presentation by the new owner of the Brad Street Farm, Mr. Mike Sabatini. Would you like to come up and um, get us started? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey. A couple months ago, I brought to Brad Street Farm. I met you guys at one of the oldest left wings meetings. And since then, uh, I started the renovations of the interior. Now I'm getting around to doing some of the things of the exterior, which triggers um, my coming before you to talk about what we're going to be doing um, right from the get go and things about what we're going to be doing in the future. And to uh, keep everybody abreast of and informed. Some of the things that I want to do uh, uh, include changing the windows. And this right here is an example of the window with a piece of the casing. Uh, that keeps in style with uh, the windows that you've used on our uh, uh, Ken Hamilton project, and the, and the, the little school next door, the little uh, daycare center mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So I'm trying to stick to the, um, the examples you guys have already been using in town. Um, I actually listed on number two are the window changes. And I have the pitches. Yeah. From the package. From the package that I sent you. To even detail where it's located, the windows are located, from several pictures of it from the town. Like I want to eliminate a window at the apartment staircase. Page picture 15 of 54. You go to the set, you'll see a picture. Photograph 15 of 54. And I'll show the picture of the window <coughs> that I want to eliminate. So that's going to just, you're going to shingle over that? It looks like shingles. Yes. Now, right? You're going to just shingle over it. Exactly. Uh, and what triggered that was uh, this is staircase that's like a ladder. And, uh, and I had to change the staircase, and so that now made the staircase go in front of the window, and so I moved the window. Uh, things like that. Uh, eliminate two windows at the staircase, rear facing, picture 22 or 54. And if I'm being redundant, uh, hopefully you guys got this in, in time enough to review it, yep. so I don't want to waste too much of your time. I even tried to circle it. So, uh, B, picture 22 or 54. And it would be these ones. Is there in the inside corner? Yep. The water comes down, they're all rotted. It's a, a very poor location. Yes. Yeah. And again, you're just going to put that looks like cloudwood there, right? Yes. The whole house is, um, is um, cloudwood. Except for on that little section, they, re they rebuilt the section that you're looking at. Yeah. And they put in shingles, like they oh, added okay. that window and they added that yeah. window. These are all like vinyl replacement windows they put yeah. in years okay. ago. That looks good. C, um, they add a single fixed sash. That's a, that's a model number from, from that company over the steers. So I put a little picture of C. I'm going to add a little window right there. Which number? Page 22. Yeah. See, now your set is not drawn on. Okay. See, I put a little picture. Okay. Um, and if I give you a letter, that's how I was trying to give you some really good close ups with my camera. Okay. So that's just what the light? Put some light in. Yeah, trying to keep something nice in there. This this shows you how the window that they put in there that they want to remove. Yeah. You can see that it's, it's that fog glass they use. It's a vinyl window. Yep. Um, D eliminated first floor window on picture 22, which is similar to just the one below it. It's it's the second floor window um, and then the first floor window. 
Oh, so that's redundant then. B and. Well, there's one window over each other. One window over each other. Right, but not but on the same elevation. Oh, I'm missing something. Yeah, I don't know what that whole thing. What did I miss? Illusion. Wow. Oh. This one's C, isn't it? This one's. C. I see C. Oh, this is D. D. This is D, oh, probably, mm -hmm. right? Like. Because these are just B here, B, and then you've got D. Yeah, this is, and I want, to I want to eliminate that window and add a door. Is that D? So that would be, what's a letter? There's no letter. There's no letter. I'm thinking it's D. This is D, right? Where's D? Is it this D? Oh, is that D? Yeah. That's D? No. This one says D. That's a D. That's a D. On the rear. Page 34. All right, so that's D. Page three? Yeah, one. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Are these keyed? I don't mean to interrupt you. Yes. Are these keyed on a plan? Yes. Oh, okay. These, Wh these letters or numbers, they go to all these pictures. Oh, but not on a, that, not on like a, not on a site plan. Not a site plan. Nope. That's okay. why I put this one in. Oh, okay. That's why I included oh. this. So when you see. All the win all the windows nope oh. all the windows that I'm changing I'll have it back. Are you oh, sure. one second? all the windows I'm changing are in here in the backyard in the okay. courtyard oh, in the court, yeah. there's nothing okay. out here 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 anything that faces the street okay. anything that faces the comedy the okay. community gardens okay that's why I include this one okay um, like those inside ones that she yeah. see how it's in all these all these windows are in the back of the house that was are, super helpful they're all up in here Located hidden in here, here. yeah. Um, when you jump down to the part about, now we go to number three, change a window to a door and add a door from the kitchen to the courtyard. That would be here okay. and here. Believe it or not, of all this, there are no windows in the back of the building. So, and the way this design is, you have to walk to a room to get to a room, walk to a room to get to a room, walk to a room to get to a room. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, there are two egresses, but they're in the front up here. Mm. So to get anywhere else, you have to walk all the way through the house to get out this door. Okay. So I'm asking. There two were two shot. houses there. True. And uh, so when you're walking through the house, you're going to the second house. Yes. That's what Johnny Bradshaw did. So now that would be. So say for example. Change a window to a door. We picture 5, 20, or 22, or 54. Page 5, right here. A pair of photograph 5, right? Sure. Yes, or 22. 22. 22. Oh, yeah, you've got that. I don't and there's a window. Yep. And I want to make it a door. Okay. And then I also put a B to show you, show you like an inside shot. Okay. This one right here. It's this window that's jammed up against the fireplace. Oh. This little space. I'll take that window out and just make a door. That's a that's actually a closet that goes in, tucks in behind the fireplace. Oh. So I try to show it to you from yeah. the outside, and then I also try to show you from the inside. So backed it's backed up to number two on window changes where we were. Yep. So we were on. D, right? Okay. Eliminate first floor window. Okay. And that's what? That's this one here, right? D. 22 or 54 and C. <coughs> so it will be this one right here. That's it from the inside. This right. This faces the courtyard. Yeah. And then it would be that one though right there. Gotcha. Okay, so that's D. Yep, so I'll take that one out and put a door in right next to it. And it's and from the other direction. Next door or in it. Um it, it, it will be like yeah. between these two. Okay. Because see this one here you got labeled as D, which looks to me as though it's that one. Yeah, it is that one. Yes. But then this one doesn't have a label. Okay. But I'm thinking because you said on B eliminate these two windows. I'm thinking those are B's. We got C's pretty straightforward. 
D is this one, and I'm thinking maybe this is another one. There's two Bs. Two Bs. Two Bs. Those are under B. Eliminate two windows at staircase. That's that's clear cut. A, we had A. A was pretty clear cut, I think, right? And you're down to. It doesn't really matter. I think this is. I think this is three A actually. Where's A? Change a window to a door. Isn't this? It's marked D here. Well, since this one says C, hit picture C. This. Oh, that's actually D. three A. You think this one here is three A? Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. D is, is definitely that one. All right, so right. you're thinking this is 3A. This is 3A. Does this change the window to a door? So it looks like it's 3A. That's window window now. Now. Okay, so that's definitely. Yeah. That's the window next to the chimney. Yeah. That's next right. the window off the kitchen. So that way, uh, if I'm cooking in the kitchen, I want to have go outside in the backyard, like oh, right. bring some clips out. Whatever, right exactly. Right. I can actually go out to the yeah. backyard. All right, so now we get to E. Where is E? This is what I That's the gable wall. It's a 3 and 6 of 54. Three. So that's this right here. Three. Hold on. Three. One, two, three. All right. Page thirty. So mm -hmm. that one's not marked for the. Right. I didn't draw that. It's okay. here. Yeah. It's this end here. Yes, yeah, the gable end. Yeah. And it's this ugly mess. And you want to put picture windows in there. Yes. Yeah. And three. Looks like. Oh, the drawing. I have drawing in yeah, some yeah. place. Like that. Okay, so what page is where? I don't, I don't even see it. Okay. It's in um, the back. Yeah. So, I want to see so I try to call that uh, gable wall, pitches three and six, then a, a 54 in, in letters F through I. F being the inside. G being the plan, drawing what it would look like. And then, of course, the gel is going to show that I'm sticking to the, oh, here the architectural his, historic mm -hmm. significance of the ones that you want me to use. I'm trying to show the, the gel yep. architectural this, picture. Right? Yes. Yeah. We're sharing package, sorry. And where is this? That's on the first page of pictures. It's on this end here. Yeah. South, southeast facing. Which? Let me get the drawing here. Number three. Yeah. Picture three. Bobby, you guys have that drawing. Three. Okay, you guys. Picture seven. Three. What you're saying is, it's this. Yes, sir. That wall. Yeah. It's gonna look like this right now. And that faces the whole back field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over here. Yes. And part and parcel to this is I want to change that little window right there. Mm -hmm. In the old days, well, maybe that's old. There used to be a chimney here, so they so that's called a cottage window. Mm -hmm. But they stuck in there and they had it next to a chimney. Now the chimney over time has been ripped down. Mm -hmm. The the rest of the main house, like this one, they have windows that are all centered. So I'm trying to keep them with the right. main theme of the house. I want to try to put a window back, but center it and keep it the same size as that one, which is on the main body of the house. Mm -hmm. and I showed that picture in there as well. Well, um, not to disturb your flow, but I think um, in the essence of time um, we should probably do a site visit okay. and I we don't need a quorum or anything to go out there so um, some volunteers who might be interested in going I don't know what is your um, flexibility or non flexibility weekend um, <coughs> no as weekend <laughs> as soon as possible when you guys are available uh, for the simple reason is this one little item is going to trigger I can't, I can't order the windows until you talk to us or come out and take a look. Right. Windows take four weeks. Right. I can't do any wiring around it right. because then that triggers the wiring and that triggers the spray foam insulation guy okay. and, and everybody kind of in a holding pattern. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Mike, can I ask a question? Why why the change to picture windows? I mean, why not just stay with the windows similar to what the configuration is there now? Well, <laughs> on, on uh, for starters, these windows are too small on the second floor, and the code says they have to be a certain size. So width? The, yeah. A certain width? Mm -hmm. What's the width? It's this, this window right here. This size. Yeah. So I have to change so the windows the, on the second floor. What's the width of the now, bigger. the existing width? Oh, small. I don't know. 18. They're, yeah, they're, they're tiny. Yeah. So I have to change them anyways. Right, and we know that's why you're here, because it changes the elevation and the framework of the document. Right. So even though it's maybe only this much wider and that much taller, right. to be able to find me to go through it, I still got to come and tell you. Oh yeah, no, no, I understand, but what I guess my question is, is why the picture window? Yeah. Because, because it's, it's really larger. historically Because it's inaccurate. a beautiful back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not yet. But <laughs> without really, you know, the purpose of tonight is, you know, right. to kind of meet you and kind of get a, a sense of the project and, and everything, but, you know, I think Libby does bring up a good point that you're introducing a new design element into um, into the structure, mm -hmm. and um, the picture window. Something it doesn't it doesn't show up anywhere else, and and maybe you know it's maybe just harmoniously three double hungs together. Right. Um, might be might be a better choice. Right. Like um, taking the three that are on that floor and just compressing them. Yeah, and it might just be more harmonious with the character of um, of the house. Okay. Instead of introducing a new element that really would look oddball, you know? Mm -hmm. That, I, th I don't know if I yeah, know no, how I you feel about I mean, that, but that's kind of... Um, there's a certain rhythm um, to window placement. Um, it's kind of an interesting book. I, it's... Um, get the name for you but it's if you di draw diagonals between corners of windows there's a certain rhythm on lengths mm -hmm. and I think that in key and it's why historic buildings look the way they do um, it's kind of an interesting from a mathematician's point of view uh, you don't really realize it but the old masters understood it even if they didn't really understand it they, there's a certain flow and I think to some extent, I understand what you're saying with the windows, and I, and I agree that they're probably too small and against code, but that rhythm of the two and the two, and, you know, would be disturbed, and I think that the picture window would, would be not in keeping with the, uh, the rest of the structure. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll redraw it with the three windows. Yeah. Suggestion. Yeah. Because they can still get the, you know, the top third floor set it and keep it all in alignment. Yeah. And that'll also help to get this door. Um, that, this window right here is behind the door. Yeah. And you open up the door, you can close it into that window. Yeah, so that's crazy. So that's quite dangerous. Using your idea, your suggestion and her suggestion, if I take these three windows and compress them, yeah. it, it, it accomplishes yeah, a similar and goal. Plus it all open then if you do the double right. hunt, it's more air. And it, then it gets that that door that window away from the door. Yep. Adds a third one, keeps the symmetry, and then it compresses it, and they get the bigger ones to get in the third, second floor windows. Yeah. Now, what kind of doors are you planning? You know, she didn't have that on, the, on my, my packet anyway. The Jelvin windows are in there, but what, what are you putting? I'm, I'm not the there to the doors yet. I haven't gotten that far. Okay. And the doors is is an in out in and out item. This oh, this item, order, right? yeah. If I if I come to you in a month, and, you know, when the door is changing the door, it's, it's an easy decision for me. But this windows right now, you know, basically stop the whole project. What are you gonna do with the rest? I gotta replace them all. I want to replace them oh, all. Okay. So you keep them all the same. Six mm -hmm. and six. I went. Might be a tighter design. Yeah. Be awesome. You know. And she makes a good point. Maybe makes a good point, and then we'll get more airflow. So okay. it works all around for everybody. Okay. And to your other question, Ruby, I thought I had a really old picture in here. This is the only one, oldest one I could find from Bob Mary. And uh, this shows a six over six, even well before the addition was put on. 
You got front porch. So which is why that window there would end up being a six over six window. Right now, I probably have six or seven different and windows. And nine over six in the front, aren't they? Looks like to me. That's what mine are, nine over six. At least the trees are nine over six in the front. That's pretty common, these are nine over six. These are nine over six. These are nine over six. That's what mine are. That's what a lot of them are. Some of them I've seen six over nine. I love two of this. Like, this one, I play a lot of six over six. Looking at this picture, this looks like a nine over six. It's not six over six. We need to move along. So we should really set up that site visit. Um, may I s make a suggestion uh, for Saturday, this coming Saturday, the 9th. I'm just putting it out there. What uh, time? Uh, availability. Are you around? Um, can I? Are you guys there for Thursdays afternoon? Only because I hear no. now it may be a snowstorm on Friday into Saturday. I'm That's in right. Boston on Thursday. I'm hoping not. I'm for you. What about Sunday? Are they, all right. Sunday morning? I mean, I would. This door will be no, open. Right okay, so I need at least another person or two, but not a quorum. So two to three people volunteer with me. Or no, two people volunteer with me. And, and I know you're close available. by, so it's it's another day I come back. Yeah, really focusing on the windows. And yeah, focusing on the windows and. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want us to look at the door? While we're out there, we might as well look at the door, too. Yeah. yeah, the door placement. What has been presented here to us tonight? Right. We'll, that's the only thing we're looking at. Okay. Um, what did we say? So, uh, Sunday, Saturday? What did I say? Sunday morning. Sunday? I would go to Sunday because then if the storm kicks in the Saturday, it's time to clear out. Okay. Well, if the storm is really bad, we can reschedule. Okay. Um, I don't, we the one thing is, we get really try to do it so we can order the windows. Yeah, no, we have to, we have to act quickly. So, um, Sunday morning, what do you have available for time? No, you say I'll be um, Can we say 9 a.m. Sure. Sunday? Bobby, you're going to come? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anybody else? I can make it if, no, if you can't make it. Nine. Um, no, not no, no. Uh, no, no. You want to try. Okay. Hey, oh, fine. Anybody? You? I can do it. Okay, Jim. Okay. All right. So, nine o'clock, your place. Awesome. Okay. Thank you for coming and showing us everything and walking us through so carefully. Appreciate it. Okay. We need to. Um, adjourn this meeting of the historic commission. Thank you. So we have a motion to adjourn the meeting. I shall so. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, now we'll bring, am I okay? Now we'll bring to order the, um, the Raleigh Historic District Commission meeting, and we are gonna start with the notes. Um, we'll start with the corrected version, if we could just take a moment and reread that and approve those corrected notes. 
and then we will move on to last month's notes. January third. We're going to start. We're going to start with the um, the corrected notes. Yeah, let's write that. These are December sixth. December sixth notes. December on the 6th. back page, there's an, there was an error, and it was in regards to the Brad Street Farm restriction, and I highlighted it in yellow. That was the corrected portion. Okay. Oh, you don't have it, Matt. Sorry. No. Nope. You can share with them. Corrected notes. I saw more. Second. I think. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 So those will be the new notes. And the notes from January 3rd. Motion to accept them. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. First on the agenda is the resizing of the town hall annex. Hi. Good evening. Here to present is Deb yes. Egan, Doreen. <coughs> Thank you for that. Selectman Stewart Dazel, welcome. Okay, so just want to give us an overview of what sure. the plan is. Well, well thank you for um, scheduling us uh, at short, short notice for this appointment. The Board of Selectmen, as part of their capital improvement program, is um, planning to reside this building, the Town Hall Annex, and we've researched various um, materials. And the one that the Board of Selectmen is proposing is the cement board. And I know, Sarah, you've helped us in our research of suitable materials for this type of historic building. So <coughs> we're before you this evening uh, with an application for certificate on behalf of the Board of Selectmen for your review and discussion. And so I think that I'm going to speak to the board. <coughs> We would like to uh, see this building spruced up, move side, and we would like to uh, go to CPC for a solution. And Doreen has done extensive research and the uh, materials, and she's available to uh, discuss that as well. And on behalf of the Board of Selectmen, I checked into siding for the building, and everything that I've read, cement board siding is the top of the line, uh, best product on the market right now for siding. 
It um, isn't affected by moisture like wood would be. It's not subject to infestation by bugs. It, um, the quality of the product, it lasts without painting for up to 25 years if you get the baked in paint mm -hmm. on the, the boards. You can get it unpainted and painted afterwards, but I would recommend for my research that you're much better off getting it already factory painted. Um, and uh, the look of it is so much better to my eye than vinyl siding or uh, so you, you've got a product that will last a long time it's going to do the job and I think the building will look beautiful mm -hmm. and interestingly enough I had um, I did have someone come down and look at the building and give me prices for both you know just ballpark figures um, and it was um, less expensive for the cement board than cedar boards mm -hmm. So, um, and you don't have the upkeep. Right. Right. The upkeep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to paint it. Exactly. So and I otherwise you could paint it right six times in 20 I brought my box of samples for for you to take back to the selectmen, right? Um, the ones I have banded here are ones I think that probably are best choice color range. And, um, you know, again, we don't have jurisdiction over color, right. but just right. so you know. I'm thinking the selectmen probably want to go with something that's most creamy, historically correct yeah. Yeah. to what I, I, unless of course the building was purple in the so beginning. So I'm going to let you borrow yes. these from my library you. for you, to, yes. Thanks. For you yeah. to go over with the selectmen and the ones that are banded are best, I think best okay. choices. Okay, great. And again, those are the standard colors as we had said, we which give did. you the, yeah. the added benefit of not an upcharge. Right. So and that's and a good we've got colors that will match closely enough. I think the yeah. select one would be happy to yeah. choose something that doesn't yeah. cost more for just a slight difference right. in shade. Yeah. You can't beat the factory paint. You can't right. compete with it. No, it's Cabot. It's good product. Um, Bill and Matt, I would like to test your memory. When we were kids, what color was this building? No idea. Yo. <laughs> That's a funny color. I, <laughs> I have no, I have no memory of what color, other than it might be white. That's the only white. thing. Um, I'd say white. Do you want to add anything? Yellow. I mean, mm -hmm. as yellow's good. Are you, you know, you yellow, have. that's what you were here. When I was putting that on my home, I was here before you thought. Yeah, but I was, I I was cutting a corner. Street, I was yeah. putting a faulty product on my house, but I've been there for had it on now for three years, and I've um. Saves so much money on heat, noise. It, it's the house is airtight with it, and I love it. I love that product. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would ever even put new siding on any of my buildings um, without using the hardy hardy board, mm -hmm. because to replace it, it's probably a little bit more than having it painted. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody yeah. to come down and do a good paint job. I've seen samples of this. It's quite a difference between now. And 12 years ago, 12 years ago, I didn't care for it. Like a cardboard. But this is solid. Right. They, they come a long way. It's a great product. In the last it's 12 years. It is a good product, especially long, long term. The only thing that we have, we, uh, the board, and I'm, I must speak for everybody, but this inside out. Uh, smooth side. Mm -hmm. See how this is the rough, the yeah. rough finish? Mm -hmm. I think it's most convincing, and I think the products that you've seen, especially at, mm -hmm. at Bob's house and over here at 23 Central, is smooth side. So it's a nice smooth grain, and so it doesn't have this wavy or bumpy okay. appearance like mm -hmm. a rough sawn okay. clapboard. And so I think it's mo most convincing that it's real wood when it's smooth side out. That's the only stipu well, stipulation. So, we've so not, not that rough not side. That no, not that oh, rough okay. side. Yep. I mean, we'll if, probably if you look at that, the grain is up and down. <laughs> oh, it goes up. No, it, grain oh. normally goes this oh. way. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> And it's a more formal building. Yeah. So I drove by a house in Amesbury that had it just no, two days ago. It's got that, that, it it that rough finish on it. I thought it's it probably have been like they a had the rough side. It, it, it really, you're right. You it looks much better. You've got to order it it's the way the grain smooth, smooth, yeah. smooth side out. Yeah. 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 So it's supposed yeah. to simulate wood, right? On the cement ones it does. 
So it, they call it, <clears throat> I yeah. see that they call it vertical grain. That's the only thing. If yeah. you want it to look got very a house and that, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I don't have that. There's no, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. There's no yeah. knots and there's no yeah. swirls. I think most it's contractors put it smooth side, side up, don't they? I know, they? I know. Most contractors do that anyway. But just so it's well, the most, yeah. it looks so we should definitely best pay attention to that. Yeah, okay, it's lots. Embarrassing giving it to select one like this, but sorry. Why they call it? Well used. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any discussion um, about the reciting? Any other discussion? I mean, it's yeah. Are you the uh, CPA is giving you three thirty thousand dollars for a study? How far have you gone on that? Well, that the selectmen want to use that to hire an architect to develop specifications for an elevator and floor plans. So that's, so that's the next. Study. That's the next on the list. Yeah. So you know well, you haven't used it, and we were talking in CPA about uh, tightening things up. If someone wasn't used in three years, we'd uh, bring the money back <laughs> and use it <laughs> for other things. So. That's why we're interested in what's going on. The, the CPC. So that's the answer. Is is we're planning to issue the an RFQ. The is the study. You have to do an RFQ to hire architectural services to develop floor plans and specifications for an elevator, so that the selectmen then can come back to get a commercial grade elevator for this building, which would re be required under the Architectural Access Board regulations to access office space on the second floor. Would it be a freight elevator? It would be commercial grade, as in any type of office building. It can, it can be Large a, enough to carry desks and things up and down? Um, it cannot be uh, similar to the town hall, which is a limited access lift to access an assembly room. So It'll we would have to meet those code requirements. I'm sure Sarah knows it with her architectural background. Will it be interior or exterior? Well, the, the architect would have to make those determinations on a structural basis. I think it's six persons uh, elevator. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think it mm -hmm. might be six persons. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. Um, so, um, can I think this is a, a really good solution for the town uh, longevity? Um, so I think this is an okay thing. We should have a motion to um, accept the proposal to put the cement board siding. I'm not going to say trade name. I'm just going to say cement board siding on the building with the stipulation that it is smooth side. Out. The clapboards are smooth side mm -hmm. out. Um, so and second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. So Thank I will much. send you. you our decision okay. and um, everything. I'll okay. write it up and I'll okay. email it and then I, you'll also email it to the building inspector. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. For all your help, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. A long stretch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a long, uh, a long. Thank you, Mr. Todd. You're quite welcome. No, I'm going to get this. This is like a wedding here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the best handshake I've had of the three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Pick it up. Yes, pick it up with friend. Yes, right. copy the And he stuck his hand out. Um, and okay. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, I have a spot for open business. Um, we have um. Uh, we have an uh, audience member. I have a, I have an open spot for business. That's your story. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, please put it on the record that Frank Todd has to recuse himself. Goodbye.
There's room under there if we can. I should have sat on the other here. I thought they were going to Oh, yeah, I gave you the Okay, I think I can put you at this. Please, please continue. Nice to see you. Yeah. They're all moving around. Yeah. I'm going um, to open up the plan. And why don't you walk us through it? We had met, We. this is a continuation for those of you who don't are new to the board. We we visited this um, a while back now, and this was addressing um, a safety concern at the at the historical society house at the. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Somebody um, fell. Oh really? Yeah. And uh, the I understand. sign. You're ready to go. I went to Mike she didn't hurt herself, but still, it's so always she, been she a concern, the side yard on the Flat Spread Street House, because the, the lawn slopes down, and the stepping stones that are there uh, have just been, they're just rocks and stones that were just set, and of course there's no proper base under them, so they have all sunk, they have been dug up and replaced, I don't know how many times, and uh, it really is a safety hazard. And where we have public, the public coming in and out, we would really like to, once and for all, solve the problem and have um, have proper steps put in that that has the gravel and everything underneath, so they're steady. And we want to put the retaining wall. I'm not familiar with this. Thing here. this there's a stone retaining wall here that's I think 26. Six feet long from here to here. And then there's a small retaining wall over here. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to then fill this in and grass it. And then we want, there's two steps here, and then there's one up here to kind of come up. And then there's a, a granite step here with a handrail. There is a handrail, iron handrail, which is like that, that's going to come up and around so people can hold on to it. And then this goes into the barn, and there's a ramp going into the barn. And there's a small area here which we were thinking, it could stay grass, but we were really thinking we could either like to put bluestone granite or brick. I don't think the board has decided yet which they'd like to do, but all three would be appropriate. So just so that everybody is clear, um, all we're really concerned about is so this is Main Street for everybody yes, here. Yes. Okay, so this is the entrance <coughs> into yes, the house. Yes. So this is new, and then this handrail, yeah. Yeah. that's an addition to the house. Yes, so that's, yes. that needs a review, but that's, you know, safety issues. Yes. And then what needs to be uh, reviewed by this board is this continuous yes, rail right. for yes. the safe, for people to hang on to so we don't have another accident. Correct. Um, so that's really our bailiwick on this. So okay. I just didn't, you know, I just wanted to let you know, everybody, that just, that's how what we're addressing because that's that's an additional piece to the landscape. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, actually, all of this is additional because it isn't really there. I mean, the right. Grade, it's grade, it's at grade, but it's so at, it's it doesn't grade. come under our review. Oh, but okay. this here yeah, is our review. This piece here, this piece yeah, here, yeah. and again, that's just that so added that flat away. stone. So yes. it's for yeah. it's a level surface yes, so that they can get in that's safely. Right. Yes. And overall, this whole plan design intent was for safety of the people who are coming to the. House. Yes. Well, we've wanted to do something for quite a while, and finally, you know, push comes to shove when somebody finally falls. It was the wrong person. <laughs> I mean, bless her heart. She, yeah. She's always kind of fussed about it because she wanted a handrail there. But uh, the handrail is 
like yeah, you said, it's, it's similar yes. to uh, Helen Dobbins up on Lawrence oh, yeah. Hill Street. Yeah. Uh, it's just simple. Well, hand looks nice. just a, Very uh, good quality. Yeah, yeah. it looks um, good. What are the posts going to be? Just straight. Square. Yeah. Straight posts. Uh, like square. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's so simple. Um, we approved a very similar design, uh, I want to say a year ago, uh, was it a year ago for Mrs. Dobbins? And yeah, it was a year ago. Just so sculptural. I'm with this field. With this field street across from the... But still like well, it's about two houses down. Well, it's about two houses down. And it's not detrimental in any way, way to the character. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, it kind of you blends in. Yeah. It was done by uh, Cassidy Tyler. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And actually, Cassidy, we've got a nice little Cassidy for this. So. Yeah, it looks great. But I think you really solved the problem. And the way they've got the postman in the you know. ground, they are not going to move. <laughs> they had a hole about this big. They filled it with, put the post in, they filled it with concrete and it's deep. Yeah. Good. It's good. Having stood there and watched them, right? <laughs> um, I think that this is a nice solution to um, making the property safer for everybody and accessing it um, much easier. Um, I think it's not detrimental in any way to the historic character of the house, so very appropriate. and. Um, I think it's good if there's any, you know, if anybody has any negative feelings or any feelings at all that they'd like to share at this time, it would be a good time to do that. I personally would be delighted to see a railing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because you come up to the, mm. some of the programs. Yes. Stuff. Yes. <laughs> yes. Since I, since I broke my yeah. uh, leg down there about three years ago, I lost my balance at that point. Oh, dear. And I'm having balance problems yeah. and it's slowly getting it back, but yeah. I want railings. Yeah. 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 yeah, looks good. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any issues? You're good. And I, uh, I got all of the voters to sign off except uh, Diane Darroway Smith and she's in Florida, so. Oh, well, I think, I think we're okay. Thank you for doing that, I appreciate that. Okay. Um, okay, so can we have a motion to accept this plan? Um, as proposed to us tonight. So I so moved. You do it. Go ahead. <laughs> I so moved. Okay, second. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, good. And so we can keep this. Th thank you. This will be our copy. And what I will do is um, we'll write up the certificate and I will email you your copy and I will also email a copy to the building inspector so that's on file. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so Thank you. you. I didn't introduce myself, but I'm sure I talk. And here will be Jones in here. Linda Cook. Oh, Linda how Cook. do you know that? Shelly knows everything. <laughs> 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 thank you, Shirley. Yeah, thank you all so much. Nice yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. We, have, uh, <laughs> we have one more audience member. I, I still have an open me, uh, open spot here for a uh, district on the agenda. Would you like you want to make a presentation, David Jacob? Okay. I shall be recusing myself. Oh, wait. Goodbye. Does Bill have to recuse himself again? No. I don't think tonight because we're not. It's a not. A, it's just an update. It's not a decision. He's giving an update, but I should be at the table. Okay. And I don't think. Okay. Okay. Bobby is no. seeing me. I was under the weather. Still. <laughs> um, this is beautiful. We Maybe took your advice. Use the cupola. Uh, yeah. and, <coughs> and we talked about it at the last historic commission meeting um, about what the Google does for it and it makes it look more municipal and more like a town mm -hmm. building and the couplers are important throughout the downtown. Yeah. Great. We went to um, the CPC Thanks, committee and had generally a favorable response and uh, a couple little questions that 
we're finding answers out and we're asking for 200 and, I don't know, 50, 50, 257 dollars to completely bring this building up to code uh, insulation new windows the windows get a little bit larger like they used to be on the uh, on the, uh, the older building that were very large. I'm not going that large because I have a code issue if I do, but I'm making them larger. And the response of, of the committee was, as I said, generally favorable. And we're going back on the 21st, is it, or something like that, in February. Yeah. And um, go from there and we'll see how it is. And the letter from this board was um, gradually, uh, they really liked the letter that was sent from the board and signed by the board members who could sign up. So just, I just wanted to come in and update this. Yeah. Anyway. Looks great. Thank you. Cool. Thanks a lot. Beautiful. And they have a clapboard problem and a moisture problem coming through the clock woods. I just forget though, what, 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 are you, what were your plans on the front door? You're going to just restore it, right? I'm planning on planning restoring on it. We would be back before this committee with right. working drawings if we're still involved in it and it has to come back for final approval. There's a lot of little exterior issues. Um, windows, trim, front door, putting on a new front porch that's a touch larger and Can I see this one more time? Yeah. And more appropriate with what was here before. Yeah, because that front door may be moved now because you're bringing the building back to an earlier time than the front door, realistically. You're making it more federal than Victorian. Mm, we're not changing anything other than some window signs. Right, but the visuals are going to be... But the front door will stay. Mm -hmm. I'm not changing the front door because you can't get something like that realistically today. You could have custom made up, but you're talking. Is it bevel glass? What? Is the front door bevel glass? I didn't see it. it. The panes of glass in the front door are about five or six inches wide, and they run up in with a where you might have had panels. Yeah, these federal. So a lot of leakage through that door. But you, it, it acts in a way like a vestibule because there's another set of doors behind it. So, I mean, yes, there needs to be work done on the door, doors and made up to the Listen, standard. Couldn't you see a nice federal doorway in there? That's not a federal style house. Probably. No. Mm -hmm. This is... It's not a federal building. Well, it doesn't go back to federal. It doesn't? No. It's it's like like the overhangs are not federal. Nothing is federal about it. Okay. Sorry about the door. <laughs> but you, <laughs> no, but you're right. You're you're right. It's sort of an in-between period that is the 1840s. Or well, something. I think those returns and everything on, on it are definitely not. Right, and you, you look at the little trim that's in uh, right. in below in here, and then the, the wide band underneath the uh, overhang. Right. We'll do the best we can with the money we get. So thank you. I just wanted to bring you up to date. Thank you, David. We'll go from there. That's great. Thank you. That's excellent. Thank you. I saw your house, by the way. Looks nice. Which house? The one I live in? Across from her house. Oh, yeah. I was the driver. Oh! It's nice to live on. Did you hear about an accident? Okay. Okay. We were on TV, remember? Okay. So, um, we, um, the workshop is next and that doesn't need to be. So we can officially adjourn the meeting now and um, we can move on to our informational workshop. Okay, so um, motion to adjourn this meeting. Aye. So moved. Second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.